off Clipper High, friends. Darth Momo here. Today, we're going to talk about the 6th and 7th episodes of The Bad Batch Season 3, Infiltration and Extraction. Um, pretty solid episodes, again. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but still good. Um, we got to see Wolf return. Uh, I, I felt like his redemption was a little, I don't want to say rushed. The scene itself was rushed, maybe. I don't know, but... He didn't fully redeem, he didn't come and join Rex, he just let them go, which that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, but Wolf's back in the picture, essentially, he was on the, the hunt of Rex and Clone Force 99 throughout the two episodes, and he ended up joining, or letting them go at least. We learn more about the, the mystery clones from Season 2, um, special operatives that undergoes brainwashing, conditioning, and special training. Looks like they tried to, tr tried to recruit Crosshair, and he didn't end up working out with that. Um, I know some people have thought that that might end up happening with Crosshair towards the middle of Season 2, so uh, at least they addressed that. And then also we learn that the Empire is after... Well, we, I guess we already knew that, but the characters learn. Um, Hauser's back, gave Crosshair some... A tough time because he used to be with the Empire and personally captured him, but uh, they ended up working it out once Hauser realized that Crosshair really has changed. Um, cool to see Teth, that that was Rex's little base of operations, for then at least, it ends up getting destroyed. Um, but that was a cool little thing to revisit. And yeah, it looks like now um, Rex is petitioning Hunter to stay in the fight because they know, hey, Tantus wants Omega. You want to keep her safe? You need to deal with that. Um, I'm really interested to see where they take this storyline because we know Rex has to step aside eventually. And I'm curious why. I truthfully still think Clone Rebellion is going to happen, and I think we set that up now because um, Wolf, when he let Rex go and Rex talked to him, they were with a bunch of clones. All the TK troopers had already been killed off. Um... Obviously, every episode so far, we've been building up to the Tantus threat, which I like that. Um, seemingly no filler so far. It's just building up to, um, hey, we're, we've are we got our final goal in mind. It's kind of like Rebels Season 4, where we had the final goal in mind, and every episode just built up to that. So I'm really excited to see how the rest of the series plays out. Obviously, we still got a couple months more of airing episodes before we get there, but we're about halfway there, um, episode count-wise, so... You know, let's let's keep it coming. I, I still think they're going to die. I know some people might not think that, but all I could say is, hey, Rex steps away and Holy's God is Gregor and Wolf. No Clone Force 99, Hauser, etc., Cody. They're all gone. So if you think this story has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Um, thank you guys for joining in. Darth Momo out, and may the Force be with you. Always. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them delight.